Howdy! Welcome to the Old West Traveler YouTube channel. Today, we're heading back to November of 1880 and having Thanksgiving dinner with the family for today's true tale of the Wild West. If this is your first time here, I'm your host, Scott Winchester, and the Old West Traveler is all about true stories of cowboys and Indians, outlaws and lawmen, Native American lore, and more. So with that, let's get into today's story. Thanksgiving in the Old West. It was a cold day at the end of November of 1880, and Mama pulled from the stove a pot of quail stew and bison tongue and sat them on the kitchen table next to Daddy. Already on the table, Mama had dried apple pie, sweet potatoes, pickles, baked beans, and some of that black coffee. Thanksgiving out west wasn't what you've seen in the history books. No, sir. That roasted turkey in the middle of the table with all those fixings and the Native Americans sitting around with the pale skins... That isn't something you'd find out in the Wild West in the 1880s for Thanksgiving, that's for sure. You see, out west, instead of that big old bird on the Thanksgiving table, you might have found venison, well, that there's a deer for you city folk, or fish. Heck, in Arizona territory, you might have had quail to share with the family, or rooster pie, which is what you'd call chicken pot pie today. All that may have been on the Thanksgiving table out in the west. Now, when it comes to those side dishes... Here's where you'd find those more traditional eastern things, such as mashed potatoes, roasted carrots, cranberry sauce. Heck, for dessert, Mama might even bake an apple pie or pumpkin pie, or maybe some of that boiled bread pudding if she had a little extra down in the food cellar. For many pioneers out west, they didn't have the kitchens filled with the ovens and stoves and utensils. For many, it was campfires and chuck wagon kitchen setups that helped prepare the dinner on Thanksgiving. They didn't use their cell phones to have Walmart deliver a frozen bird and supplies to their log cabin. No, the folks back then had to grow, fish, and hunt for their Thanksgiving dinners. Speaking about turkeys, did you know that turkey was almost the national bird of America? Yep, since the turkey was found just about everywhere in America, some folks thought it should be our national bird. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't think a bald eagle would taste or look as pretty as a turkey does on my table. Thankfully, the majestic bald eagle won the title of the national bird of the United States and leave the turkeys to turkey. More turkey trivia, you say? Hmm. You know, there's only a few places in the United States with the name turkey. One of those places is Turkey Creek, Arizona, which is on the Apache Indian Reservation, just a few miles to the east of Fort Apache. I did a video on the Fort Apache. I did a video on the Battle of Fort Apache that you can watch after you watch this video. There'll be a little link, a little bar up there you can click on. Heck, even out in New Mexico, they have a turkey creek as well. And no, the bird did not get its name from the country over there in Europe called Turkey. This next Old West fact might be a bit of a stretch, but every Thanksgiving day, the cowboys like to go play, and play football, that is. That's the National Football League, or American football for my overseas friends. The first Thanksgiving Day football game took place between Yale and Princeton Universities in 1876. Princeton won two to nothing. Now, of course, nowadays, those Dallas Cowboys are the one playing on Turkey Day. Now, don't, don't worry. If you're one of those Yankees who found themselves out west for Thanksgiving and you just couldn't push yourself to try some of the local cuisine, you could find one of them fancy hotel restaurant places that would serve you up just about anything you wanted, like oysters and roasted duck and even some ice cold ice cream. On a serious note, though, Thanksgiving still means back east what it does out west. Time to be thankful for the blessings the Lord has given you, taking time to enjoy the family and friends, no matter what was on the table. It was about being thankful for all you had, and that's how Thanksgiving went down in the Old West. Well, thanks for listening to today's special Thanksgiving Old West story. Please take a moment and subscribe to my channel if you will. I would appreciate it. And if you'd share this video with your friends and others to help keep the Old West alive for future generations. We will see you next time. This is the Old West Traveler.